What's going on, everybody? This is going to be my first impressions of the Halo TV series, coming from the perspective of somebody that has played all of the video games and has done a good bit of digging into the backstory of Halo and enjoys the extended lore of, like, for example, the morality of the Spartan program. Uh, I like that, but I haven't read all the books. I'm not a huge snob about it, but I, I enjoy it. So this is going to be my first impressions in order. First thing, it is violent, and that's something that I think that uh, it's good because it kind of it's very realistic to how a futuristic war like this would go. I mean, people just die like how you would think they would die if they're fighting against covenant weapons. Um, and I, I don't know. It's, it, there's not a lot of like superhero Marvel bullshittery where somebody should have been just like crushed to death in the art. Um, this is yeah, it's pretty brutal. Uh, the Covenant are very fearsome and scary. Uh, I personally like the look of the Covenant. It is different than what you've seen in the games, but I, I don't, I don't dislike it. I mean, it's they look like badass, scary aliens. Um, not to spoil anything, but even the uh, prophets, I think, look good. So um, they do a very good job of portraying how fighting the Covenant would be and how like the hopelessness of fighting the Covenant. They really nail that in the first episode and they do a great job of showing just how godly the spartans are like the books kind of tell you like what you know what the spartans can do but it, it, they do a very good job of, of really showing it and bringing it to life on the screen it's one thing when everything's cgi uh, yes there is a lot of cgi in the show but like they put they pull it off and, and it looks pretty good considering it's live action. Uh, no, it is not the best like Halo looking thing ever when everything is CG, but for this being live action, I think it's very, very well done. The Spartans, I personally really like the look of the Spartans. Um, there is a few parts, one part in particular where like the movement is not quite right, but I can kind of forgive them for that, but for the most part, in battle, like the Spartans in battle doing badass Spartan shit, they nail. So far, I'm not hating it. It's a pretty fun show. If you're a fan of Halo, you're going to enjoy seeing the Spartans kick ass and the Covenant kick ass and just the, uh, the bringing to life of the universe into a show. So I'm really not hating that. No, it is not accurate. Uh, to the lore to a T, but it follows it loosely. Eh, uh, loosely. Now, anyone that has watched the show is going to know what I'm referring to, but there is one moment about halfway through the episode that is not lore accurate at all. It is a complete out of left field, like, what the fuck is this? Now, I'm not going to completely, like, write the show off because this is, like, the most weird thing I've ever seen. But they're, they are definitely taking some liberties with the show that are not lore accurate. Um, you know, for example, you know, some people are like, it's not lore accurate if Cortana has black hair. Like, dude, like, I'm okay with that kind of stuff. I'm okay with some creative liberties. And, um, you know, Master Chief, it's not really a spoiler. Everybody's talking. Master Chief takes his helmet off. You get to see Master Chief's face. Master Chief's voice is not the voice actor for Halo. That stuff really didn't bother me because I'm kind of aware of the fact that uh, concessions have to be made for general audiences and for production and to convey things. Um, video games are a different medium than film and have a different audience. And you want to, um, you know, you don't want to water down things too much to attract a general audience. But you also want to bring in some new people and have new people kind of understand it. So I, I really don't think it's been too egregious thus far, with the exception of that one thing that I, I can't even say anything about it without spoiling it because it's just outrageous. But you know, if you know, you know. And I don't know what the hell all that was about. But I'm going to stick with it. I think it's it's pretty solid. I'm I'm really enjoying it, and I, uh, I like to see the Halo universe brought out in a TV series. So that's my thoughts on Halo, the TV series, Episode 1.